Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you I, uh, about the uh, Black Ops freezing issue um, for PlayStation 3. Um, gonna try to help y'all out. Um, I think I might have medicated the problem and have fixed it. Um, mine was freezing when I got it for Christmas. So excited to put it in and um, sure enough it just kept freezing. It, there was about maybe three times I could get on and complete a whole match, um, but that was very, very rare. Um, I've, I watched all the videos I could find, I read up on it, and it seems like there are so many different people claiming that they fixed the problem. I fixed my problem, I'm not saying I'm going to fix everybody's problem, um, but it seems like what I did to work, and, and, and I'll give you my opinions on uh, why it might have, wor might have worked for me, and I'm hoping it's going to work for you. but. Um, just just the history of what I did to my PlayStation. Um, I, I don't know what model I have. I know all my friends have the same one. It's not the slim, um, and it's not the real old. It's not the old one. I got it about two years. I've had it for about two years now. Um, and uh, anyway, um, I don't know if the model is really going to matter in my account because that's not really wh where I went to fix it. Um, so I'd read up and I, I cleaned, I've cleaned the Blu-ray Blu lens. There's another video here on YouTube that said, oh, this is the only way you're going to fix it is to clean the Blu-ray because there's so much information on the CD, that you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, that was my first shot. I took part of my PlayStation 3, three at least three times cleaning it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a photographer, so um, I felt real confident in cleaning the lens. Um, I do it all the time with my camera. Um, and then it was on to, um, you know, um, deleting all the data, the game data, off the PlayStation and reinstalling that. Um, still had freezing problems doing that. Um, and uh, d d installing um, the textures under the options, did that. It just kept freezing. It kept freezing, and there were times that I'd put it in, and maybe I get like a one match in or two matches. It will it always freeze. It, nothing was ever different. Um, and I was real livid about it, which I'm sure a lot of people are. And there's, um, it sucks that y'all have to go through that, and we had to do that. So what I ended up doing is just biting the bullet. And, you know, I found nothing. Nobody. It seems like nobody went and tried to buy it. You know, exchange their 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 CD and uh, their disc. And or just exchange the game. I got mine from the Best Buy um, as a Christmas present. That's where it came from. So um, today um, I went and uh, exchanged it out on it at a totally different Best Buy. I just had this thing in my back of my mind. Maybe it's a CD. Maybe something's wrong with the CD. Um, I went to Best Buy and I exchanged. I went to a different Best Buy um, than than the one it was originally bought at, just so there was no like. Maybe there's some fluke CDs disc out there or a big shipment or something was made off. I know it's a outrageous claim. That was just my thinking at the time. I was just, I'd been through everything. So I uh, just wanted to see what happened. So I went and got another one, exchanged it out, took the receipt in, um, exchanged it out, no problem. The guy had asked me, is it broken? I said, no, I'm just dealing with the, the big freeze problem Black Ops 2's had on PlayStation. He knew what I was talking about. So. I came home before I even took this, um, put the CD in. I went ahead and deleted the data off, all the data from Black Ops 2 I could find. I'm not sure if this is going to affect your online. I don't think it will. I just think it'll erase your um, your campaign if you've done any campaign. Um, so suck it up um, and, and get rid of it. <clears throat> um, and. Um, so I deleted everything off before I even stuck the CD in. Um, once I deleted it, I restarted my computer the right way, or uh, restarted the PlayStation the right way. Um, once it came back on, I went ahead and put in Black Ops 2 um, and let it download the, the updated the, the patch again. And the first thing I did when I got on is I installed the textures. Um, once that was uninstalled, I went ahead and reset my PlayStation again. It seems like We've all been on computers, we've all installed programs, we've all done that. Um, and so I just I just went ahead and restarted it. Um, fired it back up, um, got on Black Ops 
too and uh, I've been playing all day and it hasn't froze once and it <clears throat> um, in my opinion and why and this is just maybe I'm not gonna say conspiracy conspiracy theory but maybe just a, um, a big claim um, or, or outrageous claim but um, why would if I just I exchange CDs why would it work now when I've, I've done the same thing I did um, as far as in deleting and reinstalling stuff I did the same thing with the other one um, but now it's running fine I haven't had it froze once um, I've been I've been playing for five six hours straight I've been so excited to play it you know I got some new headphones and new controller and everything like that for it and all my buddies are on it and uh, and that worked for me and it's worked since I haven't had it freeze I haven't had it do anything yet and uh, so I at least fixed something and if it does ever freeze on me again I'm gonna take it right back and exchange the CD because hard drives don't like being shut down um, and powered off improperly um, I've lost memory off my personal hard drives for for accidentally doing that stuff like that hard drives just don't like doing it so don't sit there and and do that and uh, and then complain when your PlayStation um, does that. I know it's a, it sucks that you know you're having to deal with the Black Ops thing like I was, and um, you know um, take it in and, uh, and and get a new one. Try going to a different Best Buy um, so that you got that it came from because they all might you know worst case scenario is you know Activision Treyarch they had a uh, you know put out a recall on their on their games um, I don't think they would come out and say that because there's so many games out there and you can't really track which games have are bad and then I just think that would cause huge problems but that's what I'm left with as far as in believing something happened is there's a mass batch of games out there that were just not programmed right something went wrong with them because the new one that I got um, it's all it, it it, it works for me so um, and and you if you get another one keep taking them back keep keep taking them back you know make, make them pay you know they they spend their you know probably not much money putting these games out there but you know keep exchanging it if it doesn't work go try it again and try those steps deleting everything before you even put the game in um, make sure all the Black Ops 2 stuff's deleted and get on reinstall everything from fresh um, but don't don't settle for for getting a few minutes of gameplay in and, and uh, sacrificing your hard drive. So um, I hope this works. It's my really first. I was so excited that I had to get on and make a YouTube video. I've made a few before um, in my past. Um, they were just for school or for whatever. But uh, I'm I'm really excited and I hope uh, I hope this helps at least a couple people out there. I, and I'm I'm gonna get back to playing. So thanks. I hope it works. And if you have any questions, I'll try to keep up with them. Thanks, bye.